另外，面食食啦，面食食啦，我今年就四十七岁啦，哦，所以我就拣咗六对腰，帮我做呢个 robotic trans or surgery， 啊，响呢个五月十八号咁样帮我做啦。Sweet dreams. Okay, good. Okay. 咁依家係依家依家係八月十七號就三個月後就一切都好順利，而且卡夫得好快，好多好快，亦都啊卡夫得非常之好，非常之滿意咁樣樣。跟住呢個係我個身啦，佢都戥我好高興咁樣樣，好開心咯。依家咁樣樣啊，跟住就要多謝六對腰啊。呢、这個問題咧，其實帶俾我咧都十幾年咯，都有十幾年開咯，十幾年開就一直帶住嚟就造成我生活上好多問題咯，好多問題就起時嚟都冇精神，咁樣夜晚瞓覺又瞓唔好，精神咧就好差，咁樣落到 office 咧都錯下錯下都有冇瞓著。有做起事嚟都好唔知冇冇办法专心啊，咁样都好唔顺利啊，咁样咯，都好做起事，任何事都感觉上好大压力。未必呢啲系睡睡眠嘅问题带俾我咯，咁样样咯，十几年咯，啊咁样样啦。Hi, Ajay. Yes, Dr. Yo. Nice to meet you again. Yes. Your son, is it? Nice yes, to meet you. Good. Please sit down here. Mrs. Yang? Yeah. Please. What I want to do is to have a look into your throat, the nose and the area where we had the surgery, the surgery was done. Okay? Good. Let's open your mouth there for me, please. Go. So, as you can see, Behind the palate, there's plenty of ample space for him, for him to breathe in and out. And this white line here are the scarring effect from the palatal surgery. And you can see a distance between the uh, tongue and the palate is separated. So now we look into your nose, you see how good the airway is. Yes, the airway is all the way, very good, all the way to the, to the back. And for both nose as well. So it's good, plenty of space, both right and left. Good. Muy tonga. So now what we're going to do is have a look at the uh, tongue base region where the transoral robotic surgery was performed. Tan de lechu dai. Okay, go on. Come on, Tomas, how are you? Hey, 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 hey. So I can see from this uh, video here, there's unobstructed view straight into the larynx, which means there's no obstruction at all with the epiglottis being rem partially removed as part of the trans-oral robotic surgery. Come to you feel that you have a recovery? Very good. 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 到到呢，可能夜晚到天光咧，到到呢，計計埋埋都唔超過兩個鐘頭。但係依家我可以 switch 直頭瞓，六個鐘、八個鐘我都可以直頭瞓，瞓到我醒，所以好。Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is caused by loud snoring with an obstruction of your airway during sleep. There are two types of apnea. One is hypopnea, which is partial obstruction of the airway, and the other one is apnea, which means complete closure of the airway. 
The worldwide incidence of uh, obstructive sleep apnea is uh, in the region of uh, 20 to 30 percent and in terms of the actual figure and population uh, there are about 25 million of people suffering from obstructive sleep apnea. The levels of obstruction is essentially at level 1, the nasal, post-nasal level, secondly at the palatal tonsil level and the third level of obstruction which is the last level of obstruction, is at the tongue base level. The key thing about diagnosing obstructive sleep apnea is to determine which area the uh, patient is obstructed at. And this is performed usually by endoscopy in the clinic, or there is also a sleep endoscopy where a patient is purposely sedated so that we can determine the level of obstruction, whether uh, it's at a, again at the nose level, post nasal level, palatal level, or the, at the uh, tongue base level. The reason why a patient with obstructive sleep apnea will eventually develop hypertension and cardiomyopathy, enlargement of the heart, is the fact that the heart pumps a certain volume of oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. And in the case when there's a case where a patient has obstructive sleep apnea, the oxygen tension or oxygen level drops in the blood. And this is picked up by the brain and the heart therefore has to pump harder uh, in the long term to meet the requirement of the body. And eventually the heart muscle will grow thicker and thicker and one of the signs or symptoms the patient will have is hypertension and then this will lead to uh, cardiomyopathy, enlargement of the heart. The amount of reduction of volume of the tongue base region with the radio frequency technique and the cobulation technique is still far inadequate compared to performing the surgery with the transoral robotic da Vinci system where the volume of reduction of the tongue base is much more superior compared to the previous technique. In the past, in order to treat tongue base obstruction, whether it's due to enlargement of the base of the tongue or lingual tonsil, it was difficult to treat it this area because of the line of vision being straight in our human eye. However, with the robotic da Vinci system, this allows us a panoramic three-dimensional view of this area with no obstruction at all. It allows precision and accuracy in the throat and tongue base region. After transoral robotic surgery, the patient stays in the hospital for two nights. The first night is usually in ICU, and if our white vitals are stable, then you'd be transferred to the normal ward. In total, the time for recovery is about three weeks. Robotic surgery allows fantastic view, precision, accuracy in a small area of the throat in the region of the tongue base and tonsil region and this equates to better recovery and better quality of life for my patient. Actually, there are a lot of people who are hearing the robot, the robot will be very dumb and dumb. Hey, the human being will not be able to do anything. Actually, I have tried to tell you, I can tell you, it's very good, it's very good. A lot of things are like our human hands. You can do it at 0.1, maybe you can't do it. But the robot, 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 Gangovoli Thank you.